Hello buddies, welcome back to Campus Way Tech. So today's video is going to be about what universities did I apply, how did I shortlist them, based on what criteria, and mainly what's my profile. So coming to my profile, I am currently pursuing fourth year at uh, Velour Institute of Technology, the main branch, that's uh, Velour branch, and my UG. Uh, branch is core computer science. My CGPA is 8.62, which is cumulative for the last six semesters. So basically, I'll be applying with this GPA, and my GRE score is 317, Quants 169, Verbal 148, and AWA 2.5. My TOEFL score is 99, with reading section 22, listening section 26, speaking section uh, 24, and writing section 27. I have one internship and three research papers. Okay will go according to the timeline through which I applied through the universities. So the first university which I applied is NEU on 30th October. I'll also be telling you whether I applied with GRE or not. There are three types of GRE waivers. The first one is completely waived. This means even if you submit your score, they won't evaluate it. And it's just your money waste of $27 and nothing much. The second scenario is optional. In this case, the GRE adds on to your profile positively then you can submit or else it's your choice whether to submit or not. The third scenario is the GRE score is required. It's a compulsory required. So there is no other option. You have to submit your scores. There's also another scenario where it's mentioned GRE is not mandatory, but it's highly recommended. And some colleges even give a average GRE scores of previously admitted students. So in this case, it's your choice, but I recommend you to submit. For example, if you take Georgia Tech, they mentioned applicant scores are expected to be at least 153 in the verbal, 155 in the quants, and 3 in analytical writing for master's program in computer science. And even for TOEFL, they gave a cutoff of 100. I scored 99. So is it a good option to apply? Not in this case, because in their FAQs, they have clearly mentioned that if the applicant scores even one mark less than the given cutoff, kindly retake your exam and submit a good score because getting into our program is highly competitive. So just be sure about everything before you apply to the universities. So let's come back to my list of universities which I applied. I applied to NEU on 30th October, that's Northeastern University Boston campus. There is no specific cutoff for GRE and it's optional. So I have submitted my score. TOEFL cutoff is given 100, but also I applied to these universities because NEU is very unique in giving admits. They always shock their students with their admits. Some even got admit with a 97 and 98 in TOEFL, whereas some got reject even with a TOEFL score of 100 plus. So with that confidence, I applied to this university. Another advantage for this university is unofficial scorecards are sufficient for the application evaluation. And we have to submit the official ones only after we get an admit and the application fee was also $75. The second university which I applied to is ASU, Arizona State University through Kaplan. I have already made a video of my experience uh, with them. If you have not watched the video, kindly watch. I'll uh, give it in the eye and it's very important for you to watch that video. So and I sent my documents on November 1st to the Kaplan team and the priority task got cleared and the application status turned into in review on 8th December. So they took almost more than a month to complete my application. For some people, the process was very smooth, but for me, it was the other way. I applied with GRE and TOEFL. The TOEFL cutoff for ASU is 80, and I have sent this course through free score recipients for both TOEFL and GRE. So it was uh, free of cost. And the application fee was also waived as a used Kaplan. But if you want to apply on your own, Without the third party application fee waivers, the ASU application fee is $115 and if you have not sent your scores, uh, it will uh, additionally cost you $27 for GRE and $20 for TOEFL. So a total cost for the application for ASU uh, will be $162, I think, uh, which is very costly. On the same day itself, I applied to another university called UIC, University of Illinois, Chicago which is one of the costliest applications on my list. TOEFL cutoff is 80 with a separate subsection score cutoffs uh, given as uh, 19 in reading, 17 in listening, uh, 20 in speaking and 21 in writing. 
and my score satisfied these requirements. GRE is also a requirement and official scores are also required, so I submitted them. The application fee for university is $170 and for the scorecards GRE $27, TOEFL $20, so a total cost of $217, which is extremely costly, but it's a decent university, so I applied to it. The next university which I applied is to Rutgers, New Brunswick, New Jersey. On November 9th, GRE is required and even official scorecards are also required, so I sent them through ETS, both GRE and TOEFL. The TOEFL cutoff for computer science is 79 and I applied to computer science in all the universities. The application fee is $70 plus $47 for the scorecards, so a total cost of $117. The next universities I applied are on the same day, that's November 14th. I applied to four universities on this day. The first one is Virginia Tech Blacksburg campus. GRE is optional, but I submitted my score. TOEFL cutoff is 90 with each subsection of 20 plus, which uh, is again satisfied. And official scorecards are also required. And here I applied to a different program that's a master in engineering track that's the non-thesis one the application fee for this is 75 dollars plus 47 dollars for the scorecards so a total cost of 122 dollars for this application the next college which i applied to is sunny buffalo gre is optional for this university but i have submitted it because they mentioned that scores are recommended so basically it's a student choice to send this course or not but they have mentioned it's recommended so i have submitted my gre score and the TOEFL cutoff is given 90. On their website, they have given official scorecards are required, but have mailed them regarding this issue. They mentioned that unofficial scores are enough to the application review and official scores are required only after you get an admit. I'll display the screenshot of the mail reply, which they have given, so you can see on the screen. Application fee for this university is $80. And there is no $47 as of now because I did not submit this course. So it's total cost of $80 for Sunny Buffalo. So the next university to which I applied is Texas A&M University. And I applied to the main campus that's a college station. So GRE is completely waived. And for the TOEFL, the, they didn't give any specific cutoffs for CS. But in their FAQs, it's given as the admission committee considers all parts of every application before making any decisions. Hence, it is not possible to tell your chances for admission based on your test scores. However, low English scores, that is IBT, that's TOEFL IBT, internet based test below 100 make admission unlikely. But, uh, but also I applied for this uh, university because uh, miracles always happen and maybe I may get this university. This is the second costliest application which I have applied. Uh, because the application fee for this university is $148 plus I have not sent GRE, I have sent TOEFL, so $20 for TOEFL. So it's a total cost of $168, but for me, it costed around $173. I'll tell you in the next video why it costed me $173. Stay subscribed and hit that bell icon. And the next point to note for this university is you have to send your TOEFL scores to Engineering CAS. That's the code is B887, that's the TOEFL code and not for TAMU. So the next college which I applied to is uh, Purdue University. So it's uh, highly ambitious for me. So GRE is waived completely for computer science and TOEFL cutoff is given 100 and the official scores are also required. So the application fee is $75 plus $20 for TOEFL. So the total cost is $95. The final university which I applied to recently is University of Minnesota Twin Cities on December 1st. GRE is completely waived. There is no specific TOEFL requirement uh, given to computer science, but the university minimum requirement is 79 with uh, writing and reading cutoffs of 21 and 19 respectively. And for the TA job, that's uh, the TA position, teaching assistant, uh, minimum speaking requirement is 23 and I scored 24. So, so I guess that's an advantage for me. The application fee is $95 plus uh, TOEFL, uh, it's again $20. So a total cost of $115 for this university. I applied to a different program under computer science so to know which program and why I applied to that, wait for my next video. So it's been a month waiting for my decisions. Uh, so as soon as I get my decision and choose a university for my masters, I'll be making a separate video on that and I'll be letting you know. And I'll make sure that you will always be part of my journey. 
सो दैट्स इट गाइज फॉर दिस वीडियो लाइक माई वीडियो सिंस यूट्यूब विल रिकमेंड माई वीडियो टू पीपल हु आर हैविंग द सेम डाउट्स एंड पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू फॉलो माई जर्नी एंड सपोर्ट मी सो सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल शेयर एंड कमेंट वॉट एवर डाउट्स यू हैव एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंसिस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन लाइक वॉट यूनिवर्सिटीज यू अप्लाइड एंड वॉट योर प्रोफाइल विथ वॉट प्रोफाइल यू अप्लाइड सो टेक केयर एवरी वन बिकॉज देर इज अ न्यू कोविड वेरियंट आउट देर सो स्टे सेफ टेक केयर बाय बाय सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो